Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy Chris at the 971 Lounge, and today we've got a special episode for everyone. Now, in case you didn't catch our relationships episode, go to our Instagram at 971 Lounge or type in 971 Lounge into YouTube and check it out. Basically, today we're doing a female shutdown, so we've got these beautiful ladies here to give us insight into their side of what relationships in Dubai are like and anything we missed out on the last episode. So today here on my left, I've got Amelia, Galea, <laughs> um, <Thanks>. Tina, <laughs> Esther, <laughs> and my dog Kai, who's gonna give us a little bit more insight from the male side of things so it doesn't get too female up in here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing I want to ask is that, to get to up in here. <laughs> Kai is basically gonna help me control things, right? So, what's going on girls? Everyone good, yeah? Yeah. Okay. yeah. You all catch the episode? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah so the first thing I want to ask is, yeah, because basically we did a poll on our Instagram and 65% of the people who responded said that Dubai is not a good place to harvest a relationship. So what I want to ask is, where does this sort of like, where does that come from? This, this perspective people have on Dubai? I think that people don't usually come to Dubai think in long term. They mm. think come here, make money, get out. So I don't feel like people come here with the idea of like meeting someone and settling down. So I think that's probably what that's based on. Because mm, it's transitional. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Cool. What do you think? I think also Dubai has a stigma of being very um, superficial and like very fast. So with that it kind of reflects, they try and reflect on the people as well. So they feel as if the people are just going to be on that same sort of level. So they're a bit more concerned to find something with substance. Okay, fair enough. I just feel like people are just like too focused on trying to find a relationship yeah. when they just need to, I don't know, and then that's why it brings them disappointment, you know what I mean? Mm. Like if they have such a, a target in their head, like an end goal that they want to get done and it's, for example, for a month that they want to find someone and then, then they just get knocked down. So I feel like that's why the stigma okay. is so high, yeah. you know? Mm. Yeah. yeah. For me, I think like Dubai is kind of like Vegas. It's like a really big... There's a really big party scene here, and um, like she said, like people come here, it's transitional. So for you to come here and be like, I'm looking for a relationship, it means like, unless you're lucky enough to find somebody who's from your home, then it's like you, you're gonna have to mentally prepare to move to where that person is from as well. Yeah. And a lot of people don't want to do that, yeah. so yeah. it kind of just kind of like makes a lot of people like kind of like not want a relationship at all. So it's almost like it's this whole idea of it being transitional, mm -hmm. superficial. And it's funny because these are the reasons that we all came here. We came here to get money, right? Yeah. It's a money hub. We didn't right? come here for relationships. Hub. We didn't come here for relationships. Mm -hmm. However, where what happened to the romance? I mean, there's so many beautiful people, and I'm sure you lot have met people as well. Like, why can't you just where? Like, isn't there any commitment towards just emotional connections over the outside noise that's stopping it from happening? Like, what's going on? I don't think that's a Dubai thing, though. I think that's a generation thing. Mm. I just don't think there's romance in our generation to be honest and it's like, heightened here yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's just heightened here. it's heightened here so it's worse here than say in london or wherever you're from i don't know it's heightened i think because we're all like generally speaking there's so many young people here we're all of a mm. similar age we're all at like the same sort of stage in our lives so i think it's just a bit more noticeable Do you know i what find I mean? it yeah i find like, it interesting that none of you have said blamed guys for this I don't think well, it's so Yeah, because this is girls are, girls are always saying to me, and I don't know if you're being nice with the camera yet, but go, girls are always <laughs> saying, <laughs> guys are trash, guys are trash, the bye guys, the bye guys, the bye guys. Like, mm. Personally, I feel like there's dating issues everywhere. Like there's challenges within dating in every any city that you're from. Dubai may have like a little bit of like different challenges, but like there's challenges everywhere. So I don't think it's like just the guys here particularly, although, you know, Oh, no, yeah. I think it's the guys here. Oh, I need guys. to be honest. Oh, there's a concentration of guys here. That <laughs> Go on, I want to hear you be honest. I do feel like it's the guys here. The those certain attributes have been heightened yeah. to what you may have seen back home in London or like in US or whatever because of the environment of it being so fast paced of you having this go getting energy. The guys just want to match with that as well, and there's a sort of pressure where they're like, I since since I'm here and I want to get my money, I want to show that sort of look as well. But then it comes with this different facade. So. It, I think it's definitely heightened. Yeah, the guys a here have a different, for you. sometimes different energy. So, do you, would you say that a guy that comes to Dubai, if if he's a guy who doesn't want a relationship, or if he's a guy who does want a relationship, but he's a relationship type of guy, if he comes to Dubai, you think he will no longer be looking for a relationship, or he won't be like a relationship type of guy? No, he will still definitely be, but there are temptations, or he then will probably be influenced by his environment. 
So the guy he was back home with his squad, mm. that was a limited environment. He, had, he was familiar. Mm. But now he's somewhere else where it's a novelty. He's seen new things, seen new women. I mean, look at us, we're all from different, different areas of the world. Mm. So this is not what he's used to back home. Yeah. And I think that then brings up this new idea of, oh, okay, it's exciting, right? That's, so he, even, even if he was a guy of relationship, that still could be there. And I'm not saying all guys are trash. I don't, I don't yeah, like no. that. But I feel like there is Thank sometimes you. just an energy yeah, that's that's that can, that can be invoked. It's just the newness of it. There's an energy yeah. that can just, it's still exciting. Okay. But well, I think it's Dubai though, because you know, that's like, what I said, yeah. mm -hmm. because like you know that saying when people first move here and they're like, oh, fresh meat. Yeah. Whether it's a girl, yeah. whether it's a boy. Yeah. Wait, they... girls say that about guys too. Yes. Yeah. 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 All state do. The only yeah. thing that's different okay. with girls is that girls have a girl code. So when it's like fresh meat. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest, like, yeah. if I've been with that guy, or my friend's been with that guy, yeah. if my friend's been so with him, I'm not going to go there. Okay. Mm. Guys don't have that. You're just like, you know what, yeah, it's interesting cool. because next, me and Kai were talking about this just a minute ago. What did you say? You said that it's more likely that a girl will go and fuck her friend's man yeah. than it would be for a guy to go and fuck his friend's girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Really? A girl? It happens a lot, man. Huh? Okay, and maybe. I think, especially here, like, girls' friendships seem to be very superficial like you meet a girl one day i'm not saying this is you but i see it a lot like you meet a girl one day and then the next day like oh my baby my boo my best friend posting pictures all that all that kind of stuff but the friendship isn't really built on much foundation it's just somebody you go out with yeah you know what i mean so yeah. like yeah. Yeah. i feel like with like guys if there's a girl and like she's with a guy that you know you're just not gonna chat to that you know what I mean? Like, if you have respect for that guy, you're just not going to do that. Whereas mm -hmm. with women, I, I don't know what I don't know why it is, but if you see a man you want, you're just like fuck that bitch. Like, do you know what I mean? Really? A lot. I see. I, I see. A I lot. feel like it goes both ways. So yeah. You're from the guy's perspective. Have you not? Have you not had that aspect. situation? Like, has this not happened? Like, one of your friends has slept with your man or mm. ex or not. something I've like seen this. It happen, yeah. well, you've seen that happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. But don't you think this happens much more with women than it does guys though? Mm. No. Nah. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> <Nah. laughs> like, yeah, 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 it does. Like, actually, there's been times where I've like, oh, liked her, but yeah. nothing's happened, and my friend might know that I've liked him, but she's got there first. But cool, like that's her. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm not now gonna be like, oh, my turn. Okay. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like that. Whereas I think guys are like, oh, me next. Like, you know I mean? yeah. it's just different. But we like, have a question, it's guys. It's different like that. Do you guys feel like when you're home and you're in your own city, like for guys and girls, do you feel like we're just settling? And because there's so many more options here that people are just not settling as well? Like, mm. to oh, just yeah. date anybody? Mm. You know what? Yeah. That leads to the exactly. next question. The next thing I was going to say is, do you think it's the people that stop it from being a good place to have this relationship? Do you think it's the people who come here? Or do you think it's the place they come to? Is it Dubai? Oh, it's or is Dubai it, for sure. Or, is it the or in my opinion. I think it's Dubai for you sure. Think it's Dubai? Coming from where I come from in Australia, and like Brisbane is not a massive city, you know. So everyone sort of knows everyone, whether you're in the north or the south side. So I feel like, like even if I just say hello to someone, someone else will say to my boyfriend, like, "Yo, she just said hello to him." So like, you mm. wouldn't even go near. That's why everyone's like, "Yo, what's up? What's up?" Like everyone is so brosy because, like, you have to keep that line because everyone. Be like the world is just so small. Then, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. So I don't know. So like coming to Dubai, like if like you're from Australia, I just found it like fucking mental that like people weren't loyal or people were yeah. mm -hmm. looking at other people when they were seeing someone else. Like for me, okay. like that was crazy, like crazy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I don't know. I definitely Dubai in my opinion. Does anyone think it's the people? I think it's the people. I think it's the people because I feel like at the end of the day, like your morals. Yeah. Your, like your core morals mostly they still remain the same like you may do like one thing here and there but like your core morals most of the time i feel like they remain the same it doesn't like fluctuate like with depending what city you're in yeah. you know so i feel like it kind of takes the blame off of people and puts I, it feel on like morals, city, I feel like morals go out the window say, yeah. you think morals go out yeah, the window a lot of people's morals change when they come here yeah, yeah that's what i think especially like i feel like a lot of females morals had changed like like i said in the like, well, I don't know if it changes or if that's just the kind of girls that come here, but obviously, yeah, maybe like, that's, who you were. Hmm? Maybe that's, that's what who I mean. You were. Yeah, like, I feel like it's a lot easier for a man to get access to sex here than in a lot of places. Okay. And the thing is, is like, like I said earlier. And for women too. Yeah. Yeah. 
not it's easy but for I you to get sex anyway. Get sex, if you want to yeah, have sex yeah, as a woman, no, you, sex if you want to have sex as a woman, you you, all you need to do is go outside and go and ask any guy. Come home. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming home. Okay. It's true. You can it's just sit at the home. table. <laughs> I don't care what seat you're in. I don't care what seat you're in. Like it's listen. It's like I said earlier. Women control access to sex, and men control access to relationships. Right. That's the way it works. Mm. So if there's two people that want to have sex, it's down to the woman to give consent for that to happen. If there's two people that are dating, it's going to be down to the man to accept whether or not he wants to get into that relationship. Mm. So the thing is, is in this place, because men have so much access to sex, it's like, why am, I, why, why, am I getting into yeah. a, why am I getting into a relationship for when, I mean, it's like the old saying says, like, ain't no pussy better than a new pussy. Do you know what I mean? So if you're getting new pussy all the time, like, then why, why just, would you want to be in a you're relationship? Just, yeah, why are you going to want to That's that? interesting because that, so. suggests that, that suggests that it's not actually the individuals that come here. It's the, it's the location that yeah. makes people more inclined I think so. to wanting to not be in a relationship. However, Vegas. I feel... It's like Vegas. Like Vegas. However, I feel it takes a certain person yeah. to want to move to Dubai. At one point, we all said goodbye to our families mm. and all our friends got on a plane and chased our dream, chased our career, chased money, or just chased adventure, whatever it was. And it takes a certain type of person. And whenever I go home, I'm reminded of that because people at home are so different to the people I meet here. Mm -hmm. Like I always feel like that thing binds us. So it's like the type of person that wants to do that would also be the type of person who's less likely to want to settle down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we're at it, we're on our you journey come, per se. So we didn't really come here for that. You didn't. So then, so then, how much is it even Dubai? Maybe we're just using that as an excuse to do what we want to do anyway. Yeah. I, no, think I, it's I, I want to use Dubai, and I think it's a lifestyle because I think everyone eventually does want to have a family. They want to have a partner. They want to have kids. They, all of that. But the not lifestyle. Everyone, not, everyone. Not, everyone. Right. not everyone. Not everyone. Especially not everyone. Especially not everyone. Especially not everyone. And this is the yeah. thing because a lot. Yeah. Of the so you never want to have children. You never I want to get married. I know a lot of men. I know a lot of men that if they could be, if they could be bachelors. For their whole life, yeah, they do it. Some people roll like that. I don't know. Some people. I feel like that's a, a bit of a. Nah, I feel like as people get older, I think people realise that like, they actually do want to share their life with someone. Maybe I'm wrong. That's just my opinion. And I, I feel agree that's why it's fifty-fifty. But that's why I was going to say it's the lifestyle because yeah. I feel like here you get so sucked into Dubai and what Dubai can offer you. You go back to the UK, you you're like life's just not great here. You go mm. back to Dubai, things are great. And I feel like, I call Dubai Neverland because I feel like we just don't have to grow up here. Mm. We can be But that's, that, that's dangerous for women though. It is straight, yeah, I, fully. I but worry about that. We get that. so roped into it. I here. worry about women so yeah, into it. because like you said, you want to one day have a family and all yeah. this stuff. Yeah. But the thing is like, when you're somewhere like this for a long time, a lot of these years pass you by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And over time, you know, you guys have a body clock, right? If you want to have a big family and stuff like mm. that, don't you feel the pressure? Like, shit, I need to find someone. Like, no. I feel that pressure. Nah, not right now. It depends. depends. Exactly. I was gonna say that in the UK okay. there is that energy where, it's because it's familiar and and everyone is kind of settled and in that same sort of environment, it's fine. Dubai, like I said before, novelty. It has this fast-paced energy going with it. But one thing I think as well is the environment isn't something that can be control too tough. People are the one who can control themselves. So when we're talking about whether it's the place or the individual, I feel like it's the individuals who set that pace for the environment to have that sort of stigma. Mm. So the people who built Dubai or made it what it is, wanted it to be like this, wanted it to be a place where it was Neverland, like what Neverland, like where you come, you get opportunity, you get money, but then that tied into the place and then it started drawing more people into it. Because if it wasn't for this image, Dubai wouldn't be where it is now. It's like basically man-made, but it's drawn the people who want that fast-paced life. So with that, yeah, I don't really, I really so think that's the people who are in control of that. For a lot of people, this is a transitional place. So exactly. You have to yeah. Leave so it's, you have to. You have to. You have, to, to, you have is, to grow up at some point. You can't keep on playing all the time. I think it is a bit dangerous because obviously the older you get, like the further down your market value goes. Hey, that's, that's just how market it, that, value. That's just what it is, though. Look because at, at the end, this, that's yeah, exactly. That's what it is, though. That's that is what it is. That's, that I don't is think what it is. On this it's, it's what it is. It is his point. I think the word market value is a term to yeah. just explain what men want that does exist. Mm. Yeah, and it is a market in a way. Women yeah. want certain men are more in demand. Certain yeah. women are more in demand. There's no running away from that. Mm. Would you agree? 
So as a woman gets older and yeah. say she has a child or whatever happens, she gets divorced or market value is going down. Market value well, then goes she down. could be like a really nice old wine, aged wine, you know, it tastes better with time. Yeah, you know, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> like, no. That, that <laughs> sounds <laughs> nice, but it's just not the reality. As you get yeah, older, it looks fade. And but I feel like if everyone like, The reality is, it's not very nice. Head. It's not very nice, but the reality is, women's currency in the sexual marketplace is looks. That's what yeah. first attracts yeah, us. Is. Men's currency is status. So we can do the whole being a bachelor thing. If I'm making money and I still look relatively good when I'm 50, and I can provide a good life for a woman, I can still go out and get, I can still attract loads of women. Whereas, as a woman's getting older, her looks are fading. Even if she has money. Fading. And you've got to understand that if you do want a high value man, mm -hmm. this man has got access to all those younger women. So the competition for you is just getting stiffer and stiffer as you, as the further you wait. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like, it's cool you want to be doing this, like having fun and all that kind of stuff in Dubai and all that, but like the top, the clock's ticking, isn't it? And but I feel like what he's saying is based solely off superficial. Everything you just That's said is very superficial, yeah. but when you're in a relationship with somebody, it's way more than that. Looks fade no of matter course, what. Of course, of course. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the initial, I'm talking about the initial thing. Yeah. What mm -hmm. initially attracts you. So what initially attracts men to women is looks. Obviously, the personality and all that kind of stuff comes later, and that's what mm -hmm. keeps you there. Of course, that's very important. It's, I think it's 50-50, really. Like, you've got to love who someone is, and you've got to love, like, what they look like as well. That's for it to work. And that's why I think, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these, I mean, 50% of marriages end in divorce because a lot of people get into these relationships, and they're like, oh, yeah, the personality is great and all that. But if you're not attracted to this person, eventually, when you get into an argument with them, you're just gonna wake up and look at them and just be like, oh, why am I here with this ugly person? Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> it's like it's, when you so when was finance more than so, you know what what I mean? that got people divorced, bro. Yeah. Do you guys know anyone who's married and happy, like in Dubai? Yeah, happy no. in Dubai. Yeah. I do. Yeah. 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 I don't know. No. I don't. Because I although I feel like, obviously, I could say that oh, Dubai actually, is yeah, Neverland. Oh, actually, yeah, I do. Hold on, sorry, I do, I do. I do, I do. I feel like Dubai is Neverland, but I also feel that Neverland's like a state of mind. So I do feel yeah. like when you want to check out of that, you can. Yeah, definitely. So I feel like you can stay in Dubai and make a relationship, but yeah. it's definitely your surroundings as well. So if you want, if you still want to be out and about and in the scene and all that, then it's going to jeopardise the opportunity for you to have something secure. But I've noticed, especially with the couples who are married or in serious relationships, they step away from them. Yeah. Now, you're not always going to see them mm. at, you know, yeah. white, at five, mm. at all of them locations. They, they move further out. So, they that's want almost like saying, so they're trying to create their settling. Yeah, that's almost mess. like saying when they, when they decide to have a relationship, they yeah. kind of need to step away from Dubai. Yeah. And the things which make Dubai yeah. difficult to harvest a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Certain, I feel like certain it's temptations. Crowds, yeah, certain crowds. Crowds that Dubai, people yeah. are hanging out with, or like, if you if they're losing market value because of the people that they're hanging around with, mm. or Wait, often who's in certain losing places, market value? The men. women the or women. men, mm. both. I feel like the men then need to like retract themselves from that situation. I see. But, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah. Okay, good point. So the next, the next thing I wanted to ask, hold on, let me just find it. Um, so how has what you want from a man changed from living in Dubai? So just this whole experience, everything we've said and what you've been going through, how has what you actually want from a man changed? I don't know, I feel like mine is just so opposite, like, because I moved here in a six year relationship and then I did two years long distance. And then I was like, I can't do a long distance anymore. So I feel like my mentality is like, I'm just completely different to a lot of women that I do know in Dubai, even men as well. So I feel like I don't really have like a, I guess I don't want to look at a man like for a relationship at the minute, mm -hmm. you know? Like I just feel like um, seeing everyone else's relationships as well. And in the long run, I don't want to get married and I don't want to have kids. Like ever. So okay, never, so you don't. Never, yeah, so. Mm. Yeah. Do you mind I, me asking why? Um, I think it's like, a, like, in my opinion, I think it's just like a piece of paper. And I don't know what the matter wrong with Aussies, but mm. I feel like if everyone's really equal right. Do you want to find a life partner though? Um, yeah, I mean, if it's there, it's there. But like, it's. So um, if you're 80 and you're just by yourself, you're cool with that? Fuck yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think why not? Like, I think like age is obviously you physically look. Older, but if you're if you're mentally still a child, which I am, 
But don't you think don't you think you not wanting those things reduces your market value to a man? But I, I, I wouldn't care what a man thinks. Oh, you don't, I don't care. Want it. Yeah, but then yeah, what happens? Yeah, yeah. What happens if you do fall in love with a man and he wants all then those it things? Change. Oh, you, you, like, yeah, then it would change. But like, okay, I change. mentally, like right, for fine. years, like I've never like wanted marriage. I never mm. wanted kids. I never even wanted a pet. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, no. because I can't look after myself. So why would I want to like <laughs> help? Like, or like, like people always say, you know, like, like help the other person grow, whether it's the man or whether it's the woman. Like, you should grow together. Like, mm. I need to grow myself before yeah. I can do anything else, and I'm happy doing that. Like, you know, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very okay with it. So. I don't know. That's why I feel like my perspective is like very different to like having a time limit or having like a, mm. a clock. That's why when you guys said market price, I was like, well, oh. Okay, yeah. Mm. So yeah. Doesn't I don't think because what I wanted to change much since I've been here, no. Really? No. So what, you, what, is it, what is it you've always wanted then? I want somebody who's, you know, ambitious, handsome, it's nice, makes me laugh, like normal stuff. You know? yeah. Mm. yeah. So like Dubai, just the way the relationships you've had here or people you've encountered haven't altered that at all. No, like I always wanted somebody who's ambitious, so... Do you think that's because, where do you come from? Canada. Toronto? No, Montreal. So you're not even from, is that like city, oh, city? Montreal. I don't know yeah, like Montreal. that. Yeah. Is it city? So do you think that's why it hasn't changed? Because you're used to city life. Um, no, I don't, I don't know. I feel like everything definitely has an impact and has an effect. Mm. But I would just say like, I don't know. I'm just like... I'm but quite, what she wants is what most women want anyway. Quite, like, well, what's that? What she's the things she listed. Yeah, what nothing most women crazy. Want anyway. Yeah, yeah like, I don't think mine's changed, but I didn't come to Dubai for, for anyone. I came to Dubai for me. Yeah, mm. and even now, like I'm still here for me. Mm. So like it's just not on my radar at the moment. Like mm. yeah, eventually I do want kids. Eventually I want to get married, mm. but I'm not ready for any of that yet. Mm. I hear that. I feel as if uh, like what she said. I, I definitely came here just for work and to be on my grind. But if something was to arise <coughs> or someone was to approach me, I feel as if. Uh, my expectations have, will probably be voiced a lot more clearer than how I probably would have been back home. Only because back in UK or the, the town where I'm from and the people I was around, we all kind of grew up together. So I, I assume that they already know what I expect in the sense that we're already familiar. Yeah. yeah? But out here, you know, because we're all different cultures and all that, I, I would definitely have to be more vocal about, no, this is what I want. And also because in turn, I've noticed guys, have been, guys are very vocal as to what they want. Yeah, back home I noticed that, but I think here I realise it even more. If they want something, if they, if they want to take you home, they're just like, alright, so you're going to hop in my car and we're going to do this, and you're like, what? <laughs> so now <laughs> if, you, if you're confident enough to tell me or to, speak, you know, to be that direct, then I should also be as clear and as direct with my expectations and my standards and my demands. So I think that's one element of myself that's definitely yeah. probably elevated a bit more. Okay. If, if I'm that, looking so for something. Do you think that's because of Dubai or do you think that just comes with age and experience? Because with me, that comes with age and experience. Yeah. Like mm. being like, I don't want to swear on camera, but being messed around by guys, mm. like now I'm way more vocal with what yeah. I want. I'm, when I want it, I'll go for it. But right now I'm cool to just do me. That's, yeah. That sounds it's like, like, I feel I like, like it's both. That sounds yeah. like As a I development. Grow, it definitely yeah. 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 That's awesome. That sounds like growth from the self development yeah. within yourself. So, like, what you want from a man hasn't changed so much. For me, I don't know about you, brother, but mm. what I want out of a woman has definitely changed. Like, Being I've seen, I've sense. seen, yeah, I've seen the bigger picture. Oh. Right. So before, the things that mattered to me were more along the lines of um, body count. Yeah, I wanted a, a girl who I knew wouldn't cheat on me because I thought having a low body count would mean she's not going to cheat on me. Right. Mm. I can trust her that way. I wanted things like um, she's really like intelligent, maybe comes from a good family. All these type of things are the things I wanted from a woman. But after living here, I've realized that you really need a best friend. Mm -hmm. It matters a lot more about their character, about their interests, and genuinely just about the way they love you more than all those things which actually just don't matter to me at all now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So Kai, would you say that's because like um, with women, they always just want the alpha male? Wait, say that again? Don't you think with women they always just want an yeah, alpha male? But then with, with men, as long as she's beautiful, then it's, it's other we stuff. Don't I don't get yeah. what, what is you think? What it is with men is basically we just want someone that looks good and makes us feel good. That's what we want. We don't want your money, 
we don't want status and all that kind of stuff. We just want someone that we're attracted to and somebody that we love, like somebody that makes us feel good, laugh at our jokes and make us laugh, like that kind of thing. That's all men want to do, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's I'm not going to laugh at his jokes. <laughs> that's all we want, bro. I just want someone to laugh at my jokes. So that's it. Like, but has that changed whereas, for you? What, what nah, that? nothing's changed for me, yeah. really. No, I'm not gonna say How about me. all the like cooking and all those things? Because these are yeah. things I'd actually you say, like, I want, want a girl cook. just want a girl that likes to make like you that. feel good. That's what you want. I, I want a girl that cooks. I ain't gonna lie. She, she has to be able to go. Yeah, she has to be able to take care of the house. Like, because that, for me, that shows that you're gonna be a good mother. And that's important for me. So, mm-hmm. like, I'm not just gonna have one of these girls that just ordering beer, like, delivery and that. Like, that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I like the tr- traditional, like, feminine qualities in a woman. I feel like girls mm-hmm. can't cook like they used to. Do you I'll guys be honest, I am no chef whatsoever. I literally do, like, quick meals. I cook when I'm hungry. I don't meal prep, none of that. And I mm. just cook for me and that's So if you met a guy... Oh, you can cook, though. And he wanted you yeah, to cook. Yeah, but I don't enjoy cook. it. If huh? you met a guy and he wanted you to cook, like, I need. I need like, a woman who can cook. You know what, the thing what is, is this? Yeah, I was like, what? Oh, this is getting so throwing. Mind you, do you know what I mean? Like, mind you. If I want to cook for you, cool. Don't demand it from me. Mind yeah. you, we are in a financial position where it's like, look, we can, yeah, yeah, we can get a maid or something yeah. like that. Then fine, I'll, if I love you, I'll make that compliment. Nah, man, work is a shit, bro. I want my wife to cook for me. This is what I'm saying about men have their demands. Yeah, women need to What's wrong with having demands? I feel like. As long as I, as long as I reach your expectations, which are a lot of the time quite material, mm. then also do your job, man. But that's an assumption as well. So it's Ooh, funny because guys will just be like, okay, I want a girl what? who's like this, yeah. who's like this, who's like this, and girls are like, oh, you I know, don't think we focus on the niceness of it. Yeah, you guys assume that like, oh, I want him to be caring. No, I want you to be, you know, financially it's like, stable. I want you to what's be interesting emotionally is available. I want you to be, you know, emotionally is, available. There are no emotionally available. Child, guys. I want you to be saying, understanding. Like, Wait, you want the guy to be communicate emotionally? What I was trying to say is, like I said, we don't want your money and stuff. Like that. Yeah. But we want we that's want your cooking. Yeah. We want the one on a chef, you know. Yeah. I need to right. eat. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't feel I don't feel like if I'm bringing in paper, yeah, yeah in my yeah. relationship, yeah, and I'm not being funny. You only work part time or don't work at all. Mm-hmm. Um, then I expect you to. Do like clean more you to have cook more. Well, I'm well, not being funny. Women, if that's what she works full time. If she works full time, we'll work around it. If you make less, you still need to cook more. I'm joking. Yeah. But no, no, no. Did you eat today? Oh my god! Have you eaten today? My point, my point is, yeah. If I'm bringing that side of things, which I'm more than happy to bring, and I actually want to as a man, yeah. I really don't want to be clean, and I hate that sort of stuff. But I want a woman to fill in those blanks. I want we're a team, right? Mm. So if you do that side of things and I do this side of things, then we're gonna we're gonna flourish. But mm. if you won't do those th- types of things because you think, oh, um, we should have a maid or you should be making enough to get a maid or I don't like to clean, I don't like to cook, then yeah. it's not gonna work. Mm. I don't even do you think that's bad for that, me though. to want I that? I think like in this day and age, women put their careers first. Like we're independent women, we do work full time, so we have like you want us to work this, do that, do this around the house, but we still want our careers. So I just feel like it's more about equality now. And if you do both have full-time jobs and you can't afford a maid or whatever, because let's be honest, they're cheap here, mm. then why not? And that's not yeah. that she's being lazy or whatever. She's just also focusing on what she Got wants to do, to like do. you are too. Mm. I, mean, I, mean, like, I feel like that's quite an old But fashion. you are in competition with girls that are willing to cook though. Not just well, some they might have skills yeah. in the kitchen, I might have skills elsewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because at the end of the day, like I said, yeah. we, don't, we don't care about your money yeah. because, let's be honest, we're not really going to get your money anyway. We're not, you're not getting with a girl and she's paying for your bills and all that kind of stuff. Like, it's the other That's way fun. around. Yeah, I was going to say, say so I mean, like, let's not talk like... about special cases. <laughs> <I'm talking laughs> yeah, about, let's not talk about special like... cases. I'm talking about <laughs> in the majority of situations. Mm. Like, women tend to be hypergamous. You either date up or across. Do you know what I mean? You, yeah. you date, like, somebody who either makes more than you or makes yeah. equal to you. You're yeah. not really going to be willing to date a guy who's unambitious and doesn't have no money and you're paying the bills. Me personally, no. But I do have a exactly. friend who doesn't accept anything from I guys. know you have a friend. Don't everyone touch my grocery bags, I can do it myself. Everyone, I need your everyone help. has a friend, you know? but your friend is how much of the population? Like, it's not most women in it. Do you mm. know what I mean? So let's not... 
go off for that, let's go off for what's actually happening. Do you know what I mean? But even with that demand of wanting a woman with, you know, those certain homey skills, you can, if, if that's what, that's not something that has to be discussed. I mean, that if we were back in the 50s, that's, yeah. that's yeah. done for, any. But nowadays, you know, especially in the environment we are, where women are working hard, you can't step in and just assume that that's what she's about if you all haven't talked about it. So if you're not discussed, and yeah, maybe the woman wants to have this, she has this nurturing maternal instinct within her, that yeah, she's working her nine to five, but now that she's found you know, the right guy, she wants to settle down a bit more, she's thinking about kids, you guys thinking about family, then yeah, she may want to take a step back. But don't step in and just assume that, okay, now this has happened, the dynamic's gonna change, and I expect you to be like this. Because that's what I said before about men stating their demands, which is totally fine, no issue. Everyone should state their demands, but it's mm. how it's done. Mm. And, and the standards of the expectations that is carried with it. And also this idea of, what's the, what's the word? Like, almost, oh, if you can't do it, I'll find someone else. Mm. Yeah. Like, that's always thrown around easy, as if the girl can't just say, family, if you're not stacking up these bills, or if you're not mm. bringing in this Lambo, because the guy down the road, <laughs> lady, he can work. Work. <laughs> so, it's, so the girls can, that's why I feel like, Dubai has almost ignited even more of that essence of me making my demands. Because whereas at home, I've been just taking my time and being like, I, I'm sure let me pander to his you know, ego and his masculinity and take my time and I'm sure he's going to show his potential soon. No, here, because the guys are quick to say, I'm like, hey, so is this, is this the volume we're on? Okay, may I also want something as well. May I also want that. So, but we're just being clear with what our stand, what our expectations are, what, what our standards are. If you're a high value man, you make 400k a year sterling, or do you prefer a woman that is on a career shit, she's doing all that kind of stuff, she don't cook, or you want, or would you want a woman that takes care of you, the home, cooks for you all the time? Or so you is prefer? it? Just you pretty much just say, like, are you going to she's going to take care of you growing? Yeah. Or are you guys going to grow together? Yeah. What would, you, what, what would you prefer? So I like, um, I, I, I'd rather the second one. Yeah, yeah. Um, the reason why is because I like the idea of taking care of my woman. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'm old fashioned in that sense, but I like the idea of being the one that brings in the bread mm -hmm. and her raising our kids okay. and then me obviously being there as much as I can, but someone's got to do that side of things again. Mm -hmm. I like that idea and I think it's, um, I think it's more natural. Yeah. Yeah, that is what most women. I most think it's more natural. That's not to say it's not going to happen with a career-driven woman. I think it's just that like initially, when the, you meet that girl, she is going to be doing, you know, her thing. She's going to be on her career path, and then yeah, when you are talking about like settling down and having kids together, she'll adapt. Then, then yeah, she'll adapt. Yeah. Mm. Like I don't just like, rule us out I feel because like you know you might want to like He's talking about he's talking about four hundred thousand. Right. He's talking about four hundred k. That's like a million every two years or so. Mm. Like this is too much money. You don't need to work. Yeah, but you're not going to find a housewife like that, that's what I'm saying. Why not? You're going to meet a girl, and because it's Dubai. No, but this is the no, thing. because this is what I but mean, this it's is the Dubai, thing, right? If I was earning that much money, yeah. I can have any woman I want. I know, that's any what, so I'm, I what I'm saying. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not saying So the thing is, I'm saying that, initially, that, you were going to meet a girl. Like, going back, hold up, hold up, hold up. Going back to point one, where we said that everyone comes here to work and have their career, blah, blah, blah. You're going to meet a girl who is doing that. Mm. And then she might be like, oh, okay, cool. She might, she's not going to instantly give up her career. She's going to mm. sush you out and go yeah. with it. So initially, you are going to meet a girl that's on that path. And then, yeah, she might be like, do you know what? Yeah, Chris is cool. Yeah, Chris is cool. And then, and then it might become that. Yeah. Yeah. But initially, you you're not going to meet. No one's coming to Dubai and just chilling, hoping oh, to no. meet. No, 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 no. There are a lot of people doing this. No, they are <laughs> No, of course, yes. They're not chilling. There's so something. many. Yeah. There are so <laughs> many. <laughs> Girls literally go to Five Palm to lie on sun lounges and wait for that man to come in. You know, their that's life. their shift. They're 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 yeah, they're all right. They're all right. <laughs> Even just because you guys aren't like that doesn't mean there aren't women like this. There are women like this. They might be doing the jobs, but then their but jobs may not be... But they've already got money, right? Okay, so they're so, working. So someone, someone may it. not have a career career. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's a different type of job. It's but a they're job. still doing it. Yeah, but then like they'd rather. But then they're the kind of girls you need to go for, Chris. If that's what I'm it's, it's that's not, what you want. It's not that it's the type of girl I need to go for because four hundred k a year is not my reality as much mm. as I want it. Mm. So you know, I'm I'm happy for my woman to be working. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. But I would much prefer that situation. That sounds great to me. That's what I'm mm. saying. That situation will come with it. Inshallah, hopefully. Yeah. It will come with it. Hopefully, yeah, that comes. It will come with it. Yeah. Well, what but about you? Would you, would you rather, that yeah, I'd rather that situation? Because the thing I'm also conscious about is when a girl has her own money and has a lot of power, then the paradigm shift in the house changes. I want, I want power. I want to be the king. I want to be the man of the house. I actually want that. 
and I want my wife to submit to me. Mm. Oh, so do you guys always feel as if with a woman who is obtaining this, you know, she's working for herself yeah. and she's she's working her way up in her career, mm. that that is almost jeopardized, that everyone is going to be bashing heads when it comes to power, that it won't it's, ever be a partnership, it's, it's you can't like have this power couple. It comes you into it because, because the thing is, is power couple. yeah, the majority of women want to do this power couple thing and the majority of high value males do not want yeah. that. Where are you getting these statistics from? They don't. <laughs> <laughs> because you keep saying most men, the majority, where it's is this? That's coming from because most high value men, they yeah, want, they, most high value men, men want a submissive woman. That's what they want. I think it's very personal. I don't know if you can submissive, say it's define, true. define submissive yeah. and to what extent both. because submissive is very broad. So, yeah. most like, people you know, you guys just want a woman, you know, when you guys kind of Someone say she wants to stay at home, you know, pregnant, barefoot, cooperative, cleaning, do you know what I mean? Just just silent. Yeah, cooperative, like you're not like just butting heads with me on every turn or that you let me lead as a man yes. like, that's what I want that too yeah I don't want it to be a thing I don't want it I don't want this is a pastor and that's slave sounding yeah. it's not the yeah. it's yeah. not the yeah. this is this is wait own. hold on Kai yeah what, what, this kind, is, of, what kind of comp yeah hold how on. is the this is this is how it's been this is actually how it's been. So this new thing, yeah. this, this concept of women working and stuff and being able to be independent mm -hmm. and actually want to not have a husband ever or a family ever, mm -hmm. it's new. This is very new. Mm -hmm. What we're suggesting is how it's been since gave man days Which when women right. actually couldn't survive without a man when the marriage rates were a lot higher and that's but, how you yeah. like to bring it back in the hour about cooking so, so she said no, she lived in the present with the cooking yeah, and you're going back in the old what days I'm saying, where what I'm saying is what, I, what me and him want is habitual this is actually like what's been passed on generations that's mm -hmm. why men I feel as a man that I should be in charge this is actually how I feel yeah. I, you know, when I take a woman out, I don't say meet me there, I go and pick her up. Mm. We go there, I pay for it, I bring her home, I make her a drink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but I'm the man, I take control, I do my job, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I prefer a submissive woman. I don't want a woman who's going to... Take the bill. But who's to say that that's a job? I've got all this masculine energy. But we're not saying that. So, I feel like that's what's getting confused. But what I'm saying is that a woman who's now doing her own thing and working, all of a sudden, she's got hella testosterone up in her syndrome, and everyone's going to be squaring up in the living room. All right, say we've got the house. Say the house. Yeah, you still want to be looked after as well. Yeah, but you're also nurturing. We still want our career. Listen, when when women when women don't need men. Yeah, they become they're powerful, right? It empowers mm. women. I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. My mum is a single woman, she yeah. raised me and my brother, she's always been empowered. Yeah. But I can even see from my mum, this is a woman that would not take shit from a man, mm. but this is also a woman who wouldn't easily submit to a man, okay? Mm. Yeah, because my mum's not going to be there and being told, Oh no, we're moving to Russia, and then she's oh, okay. But I kind of want a woman who will move to Russia if I need to move to Russia for money. I don't want someone who's like, no. That's the thing. It's, it's a discussion, discussion but I want the final so, say. Going back to your cooperative okay. thing, it's not about this... banging heads, it's about talking. Yes. It and is, it's it is. I'm just saying. And the woman, the woman, woman is right. Say it again. But all but we're saying is, what did you say? I prefer what he's talking about. That's all I'm saying. And those girls exist. They do. Russia. Russia for the money. Russia for the money. Okay, there we go. This is it. But women are willing to do that. That's the level. That's the level of submission. I mean, but if my wife, yeah, if my wife was now like, we're moving to Russia for the money, I'll be like, do. I'm not moving anywhere for the money. We're moving to LA so I can try and understand the police. <laughs> That's more likely. And you know what I, I, I don't want to be the one who's like, okay, and then I go to Russia and I'm like, well, she's on a conference call. Do so. you know what I mean? I don't, cook, I don't want that. I feel like as if also, I don't and, 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 and I don't really think high value males really want, want that. Be, That's yeah. what I'm saying. High value males do not want that. I yeah, feel like there's a certain say. image that's been created amongst the male community that when a man leads, it's almost as if he starts, uh, like he dictates, and you almost you want the woman to. Almost like just to respond to whatever your ideas are, a bit of a bit of you know tension here, but really she then yields to to your demand and, and to your and like to your request, right? But it's I don't feel as if that's actually been the blueprint for most households even back in the day. Because when I speak to the elders, and I feel like sometimes that's also like in our generation that we feel as if mm -hmm. our viewpoints that's it, but we forget that the elders went through this. I've spoken to like grandparents and great grandparents who are like. 
yeah, I'm the man, I lead, I do all this. However, the woman also leads the home. She's also in charge. There's, there's a partnership in that sense. She, under, she understands that the man is, you know, the king of the house. He's the priest and all mm -hmm. that. But she also has her rightful stand in that partnership as well. That's what because without the king, without the queen, there ain't yeah. no king. Absolutely. Yeah, so Absolutely. you still need someone to, but I feel Nobody like... Nobody wants a woman you can just walk all over. Exactly, yeah, right. Because sometimes the way you lot be expressing it is like, I want to be, I want to, it's like, get it, like, <laughs> relax a girl, and... A girl that is just going to do this and do that, she is a walkover. Yeah. Like, yeah. And guys, yeah. let's be honest, guys find it attractive when girls give it back a little bit. Just a little bit. And it's for um, your, and it's so for your you benefit. Do. We ain't just giving it back. So That's invalid for fun. Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh, like, oh, we oh, are. Oh. I think we're all people at the end of the day, yeah. and that's like when you see a girl and you like a girl, it's because she is her. She's yeah. her own person. Yeah, so yeah. don't try and take that away from her. Like that's okay. it's just gonna remain. All right, so. moving forward, <laughs> has there um, story time, as it were? I want to mm. know if there's ever been a situation where a guy has made his intentions clear, or and it's either put you off or turned you on. Mm. Christina, talk to me. <laughs> Does anyone just want to warm it up? <laughs> sure, I'll warm it up. Okay, so I, I did, did experience that before. I met a guy, first like two days, you know, you're what I want, I want to be your man, da da da, you can have my Bentley, you can have my penthouse, this and that, everything is yours, all you have to do is be mine, and that's it. You had penthouse. Yeah, <laughs> and then, but the thing is, it's not that that particularly turned me off, but like getting to know him, we just didn't, like he was like in love with me, but I just couldn't like be in love with him. Like it just wasn't, so it's not just money, you know, it's not so just, he made it's not just relationship. No, so like, no Bentley. This is not okay. Sure. Like, <laughs> so the fun. guy made his intentions clear, he said, I've got this and yeah. it's all yours, all just yours be with me. Be mine. But then the, the, Stop working, just, the romance just wasn't there. Mm. The romance, it just, we didn't have like nothing common. Do you feel like that had an effect on it though? Do I don't feel like that had it. Was, I, don't, I think it was, was more who it was. I don't think that mm. had it. Because I'm a person, I'm a relationship girl. Like, I love love. You know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. So sure. I feel like him telling me that made me more open to going more dates and like trying to get to know him better. Okay. But even after getting to know him better, it, we just didn't click. So. And how long did, he know, did you know him from when he said that? that you he said it. that to me the first week we met. Oh. Yeah. It's yeah, interesting, Kai, because this is a high value male, yeah, mm -hmm. and he was not able to get the girl he wanted, even mm -hmm. though she found him attractive. Yeah. Explain that. How, how like, is that even possible? Women like mystery. Just personality, you know? We, we, yeah, but women do like mystery. So it's not just They don't like money. it when you just give it all out it's on the table. Like, yeah, they like, to, they like it when you keep them guessing a little bit. Okay, interesting. You know what I mean, they don't want a guy that's just gonna come out. Yeah. No, yeah. but honestly, that's the most annoying thing about us. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's so annoying. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's true. First time, oh, but for yeah. me, I don't think that had that had enough because I feel like that made me want to get to know him more. Mm. But after getting to know him, I was like, oh, we don't really have that much in common. Other than mm. we both like relationships, and we both like. Know yeah, how I feel to like in that situation, yeah. I wasn't the right guy for you. It wasn't. It's maybe like compatible. I read something. I read something somewhere, and since then I've been doing it. Yeah, it's like. Never actually call a woman beautiful until you've slept with her. <laughs> Sorry? What? what? It's like, never actually, if you're seeing a girl, don't call her beautiful, don't compliment mm. her too much until you've slept with her. Okay. After you've slept with her, you can say all that wonderful stuff. Because... Even though you might really... Cause <laughs> where did you read this and why? I, I can't remember where I've read it, but I've been using Instagram. it and it works. <laughs> it works! Me, it works! When I was, when I was younger, I used to give girls a lot of Same. compliments all the time. And Same. I didn't really like it. And Same. since I stopped doing that... Was like, this normal? Like, Did you guys get lots of compliments like younger? <laughs> when you were younger? No one would, men wouldn't compliment women, like, mm. you'd be like, it would be the polar opposite. If I mm. liked you, for example, I'd be like, you're an idiot, you're a dickhead. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh, he likes me. me. And All the way up by past high school, people in uni would still no. act like that yeah. now. Like, you know, like, I mean, so I mean, like, yeah, when I moved here, I got compliment, I was like, wow. Like, if, if, if a guy, yeah, but it's still a uni day, it's like, you know, I still feel like people always do that. If a guy takes you on a date and he keeps telling you you're beautiful, isn't that just a That's a turn off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that is, is a turn off. This how many people want this, this is the yeah, reason. Why is this cool? No, no, I won't yeah. say it at all. At all. So what's going on? Because once might even be too much. So what are you doing when you're dating? It's like, like when like, a woman, you've got to compliment the outfit. Where's the talent? Give me an A question. I need to see a role play. You've got to have balance. You can't just go from saying it a hundred times and not saying it. You can't pick her up. You can't pick her up. I won't say it. And she's done her hair. I won't call her beautiful though. Nice. But I won't call her beautiful. I feel like when a woman knows, I've got him. 
Yes. Then it's oh, like, yes. it's similar to what you were saying when you yeah, were like, oh, But then think like, of it this way. Say if you don't call her beautiful at all until after you guys yeah. have sex. And then they're like, oh, like he only thinks I'm beautiful because we fuck. Because we, yeah. yeah. Like, fuck him. I don't want to talk to him anymore. It's like toxic. It's a bit yeah. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, oh, fuck him. Nah. Isn't it more like, like, oh, he still likes me? No. You know it should what, be yeah. he likes him. Uh, so uh, I am Oh, he still likes me. You start dating a guy, yeah. He picks you up. He obviously gives you a compliment on your outfit and all that. The date's going well. Like he's making you laugh. You like the guy. He's not giving you any compliments, saying you're beautiful and all that. You have like three dates with this guy, and he doesn't say anything. He's not being overly with the compliments. But he's, he's not then, saying you're beautiful, with his but actions, he's saying with you his look actions. nice or... But with no, he says it the first time and that's it. With his uh, actions, actions, first time and with his actions you can and see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at, okay. the the, at the end of the third date, you decide to go home with him. Yeah. You like have sex, the sex is bang. Yeah. And then at the end of it, after you're finished, he looks you in your eye and says, you're so beautiful. Are you trying to tell me that's not hitting? It's not. That's hitting. That's how you hit. Are you mad? That's like good. Are you mad? I think that's that's way better. That will bang. That's way better. That works. That but will you bang. still said it, right? Yeah. In the beginning. And after so the set. No, no, no. I just, I'll just say something like, "Oh, you look nice." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look nice is fine, but you. Oh, I'll say I love, I love that dress. Yeah, so, yeah, give us. Yeah. I'm not gonna be like. No, I don't know. I don't know. It's a different opinion. Has anyone else got like a story of some sort? With regard to what else before? I have a turn off story. So I was recently out of an eight year relationship. Well, not recently, like last year. And I told this guy straight up, I was like, I don't want anything. Let's just have fun. Carry on, you know? And then um, the second time I had gone home with him, oh my God, it was all normal. Great guy, banter, looked after me. Even when I would like, I would say I'd get my own camera or do this. He would order her like an Uber or whatever, did whatever I want, you know? And I was like, no, but like I can handle it myself. Anyway, went to, back to his house and then we went into the bedroom. And then, um, the, mind you, we also just had another conversation saying, I'm fresh out of a relationship, don't want anything, blah, 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 blah. All along those lines, right? Mm -hmm. We're literally in a very, very close position mm -hmm. where his face is literally here and he goes, Tina. Will you be my girlfriend? Oh my god. I was like, Wait, is that during sex? Yeah, yeah. I never. That's cringy though. I couldn't look the anywhere else. You never initiate place. the relationship. You know, no, like, he's god. still inside. So I, yeah, oh, yeah, so I never. pretended, the man I pretended never I didn't initiate hear the relationship. it. And what? just pretended. Nah. I put my face there, I mean, my hand on his face. You put your hand on his face? Yeah, yeah. just yeah. Down. And then I was, because he said it again, because I pretended I didn't hear. So I put my hand, and then I. Just took control. I need to know what was, the was, what was the wording. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know the wording. Tina, will you be my girlfriend? Yeah, wow. yeah the, pum -pum, the pum pum snapping shot after that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just drying right off. Oh, wow. I feel like I made it a bit more. Nice yeah, no, that's that's that's, that's really interesting. You said so in the midst of that, in the midst of that, you said that a guy <laughs> should never initiate a relationship. Yeah, well, why? Why? I should never initiate a relationship. Why? Why? Because girls like they like the mystery, bro. They like they like to know. Oh, does he like me? Does he like me? So yeah, general. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, very what? general. Listen, Did you not originally say that girls have part... like the control of sex and guys have control of the yeah. relationship? Yeah, exactly. So if a guy's never going to initiate the relationship, what's happening? What's happening here? He's the one that says yes to when you initiate. Ah? Huh? Yeah. Fam, what sort of? And you say girls play games. You, then you know what? I can't agree with that. I can't yeah. agree with that. Every okay, relationship I've been, yeah. There's mm. been a day that says, you know what, today I'm gonna make up yeah, my girl. Yeah, right. This one, I'm like, old fashioned, isn't it? I'll just be like, you know what, do you wanna be, do you wanna be my girl? From there, it's yeah, official. Mom. So how can you say that? Because why not though? But she'll well, show you that she's so, interested. So if a girl said to you, do you wanna be yeah, my man? Absolutely, yeah. I wouldn't do that. That's nuts. How, yeah, like, I'd be like <laughs> if I wanna be, if I wanna be, if I wanna be, I'm not like, actually yeah, still scars on the time to Of course not, no. Yeah, but I'll wait, I'll wait for her to initiate. I'm not gonna initiate. Like, do you want her to ask you? You want her just to show you that she's interested in it, and then you can be like, hey, you mind? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna ask her, I'm gonna wait for her to initiate it. Hmm. Like, she, you want her to ask you? Yeah, yeah you want her to ask you No, I'm just gonna, no, I'll say, if she says to me, like, where are we going? Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then I might say, then I might ask, I'll okay. do it like that. But, like, I'm not gonna be the one to initiate that conversation. Okay, uh, yeah. that's conversation. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want her to, like, get down on one knee yeah. and shit. Like, I was like, no, you no, might no, as well, no. just want her to propose. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they both That conversation, I feel like, it should be initiated by the woman. Do you know what I mean? 
it's so, very personal too. So the last thing I want to sort no, of say... No, that's personal for me, yeah, I'm not yeah, saying. Yeah, that's per- it's personal for him, I'm, I'm the opposite. Yeah. But still, I get where he's coming from completely. Mm. So the last thing I want to say is, what advice would you give to a guy looking for a relationship in Dubai? Stop looking. <laughs> like, just, if it's there, it's there. You know what I mean? Like, if it's there, it's there, just stop looking. Like, yeah. if she's the one, she'll pop up in your life. Yeah. yeah, just you be know you, I mean? do you, keep doing what you love, you'll meet people that have the same interests as you and then maybe you'll click, maybe you won't, but what advice, just Why be yourself, guy, though, man, you know? What, you, what advice should we give girls? Because they're the ones who need it here. Let's Wait, first, first, what do you guys think? Um, I also think just like they should just take time, like not feel pressured by the environment and feel as if they have to have every, like all these other assets and all these other glitz mm-hmm. to really get a girl. Just yeah. like be authentically you. Yeah, be authentic, Don't yeah. feel pressured by everything that you see when you're out there. Just take yeah. time and be friends with her. Like get to know who she really is. Cool. Yeah. I'd say that and I'd also say like check yourself and make sure a relationship is actually what you want okay. mm. and that you're not still like oh I kind of want a girl but yeah. I also want that girl and that girl and that girl mm. like yeah. Yeah. check yourself check first yourself. Yeah. Mm. that's what I'd say what advice would you give to a woman? good luck <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, good luck it's not easy like uh, like have thicker skin I don't know yeah. like some women just pour their heart out to like each man that they meet. You know, each man they'll just pour their heart out. Like just mm-hmm. be a bit thick. As, I don't know. I don't know. Be I'd say be like reserved. comfortable with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I agree just, with that. yeah. I feel like just mind your own. Yeah. And and I feel like the rest will kind of just fall in place when you're just doing your own thing. After a while, and your and your energy is good. When you're working on yourself, I think you just draw in the right energy oh, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when yeah. you like guys are talking about market value and all that, we're we're in our prime. So when we're doing our thing and doing our own mind and our own business yeah. and getting our money and yeah. you know, then we just draw yeah. that yeah. sort of guy towards us. Yeah. So yeah. be about your business. And I think you just need to be like happy within yourself. yourself. Yeah, be happy. Mm-hmm. Just be happy within yourself so you don't I feel like that. you need a man. Yeah. But if one comes along and yeah. if you're willing to accept them, cool. So, yeah. What advice for women? Yeah, for women. Just cook. I said it. Just play your cooking course. Just cook I just think I think I feel like you should make your intentions clear from the beginning because then that way you just get rid of the guys that ain't serious. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, mean, I feel yeah. like that's that's what you should do. Like don't be like waiting to see what he's on and all that kind of stuff. Just like obviously don't bring up in a first date, but if you feel like I actually like this guy, yeah. just say, Look, what is what is it that you're looking for and all that kind of thing? Yeah. And yeah. if he just says, Look, I ain't looking for all that then off, man. Don't try and convert. Yeah, that's it's such a good advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. some yeah. girls be like three months in, like to five months in, like what's bro. going on? But it's like we're just My having thing, fun. I'd yeah. say yeah. just like, go on YouTube, learn how to cook jollof rice, right? Uh, <laughs> then, <laughs> every day, get to an listen. Okay. Every day at nine, have a pot full of jollof in your kitchen. <laughs> oh, a husband will appear at your door. <laughs> I promise. Oh, I can't you. Maybe me. It might be Kyle. It might be one of the other boys. Listen, you've heard what we think here today about relationships. Thank you so much for our guests for coming on the show. It's been amazing. And it's been fun, it's been a vibe. Go on our Instagram at 971 Lounge, subscribe to the YouTube 971 Lounge there too. Peace, love.